Welcome to Tales from SYL Ranch, the BitChute channel where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone. While I have your attention, I'd like to ask that if you like what I'm doing, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, share me on social media, and tell all of your friends, family, neighbors, pets, and livestock to do the same. I would appreciate your support via my PayPal tip jar, my subscribe star, my merch stores on Teespring, or a place on my website where you can support me further. And there are links to all of these in my description box. Continuing on from my most previous two videos, Tales from SYL Ranch is not commercially viable, and We Just Met Services! What a load of crap! Which are both linked to in my description box. We now have a canary in the coal mine. It's an example of how YouTube can take a commercially viable channel and turn it into one that is not commercially viable. And because of its content, I believe that this was intentional. Now, Tim Pool has made a video analyzing YouTube's intent in deleting channels that aren't commercially viable. And that video is called YouTube. It's over with a whole bunch of other stuff at the end. But I have a link to it in my description box. So to begin with, believe it or not, YouTube operates at a loss. The massive number of channels that are not making them any money, which would include mine, are so large that it doesn't even cover their operating costs. But the reason that they do it is because they're attempting to dominate the market and, if possible, create a monopoly. Once they control the space and no one can compete, then they take measures to make the company more profitable. So until now, YouTube's operated at a loss. And now it owns the video online video market. As great as its nearest competitor is, and it's bit shoot and it's awesome, go there. Still, it doesn't compare to the number of potential eyes, at least on YouTube. So now YouTube wants to make money. If you upload a video that YouTube isn't or cannot sell advertising on, then YouTube is losing money on that video. And there's also the fact that YouTube wants to get into the paid subscription model in order to compete with services like Netflix. And in fact, YouTube already has such a service, but it's pretty minor at the moment. I don't actually know anybody who subscribed to it. But they wanted to get bigger. Much, much bigger. So now we have a canary in the coal mine with respect to YouTube wanting to become a paid service. So what do you need if you're going to be a paid service? Well, you have to have content that is under your control. And one of the major ways you get content is from movie and TV shows. So enter PizzaFlix. PizzaFlix is a channel that uploads bi-weekly films and specials in all genres. And these are typically classic films and TV shows that have gone into the public domain. But being older, they rarely have any adult situations and they have absolutely no swearing. They're totally child friendly. The channel has 257,000 subscribers. Video views run in the tens of thousands all the way up to the hundreds of thousands. PizzaFlix has over 140 million total views with over 2.4 billion hours or minutes rather worth of videos watched and that is roughly 400 million 40 million rather hours watched. You can contrast this with my own channel on YouTube I have 2000 views and roughly 185.80 I'm sorry 118.5 <laughs> minutes viewed pizza effect is clearly as successful as I would like to be with my own channel hell maybe I should just start uploading movies so on October 1st YouTube terminated its partnership program the partner program with pizza flicks and then ceased all communications with them now, PizzaFlix has no copyright nor community guidelines strikes. They were simply informed that, quote, a significant portion of your channel is not in um, order with our YouTube partner program policies. And then they demonetized them and stopped communicating with them. Now, understand that this last year, PizzaFlix earned its Silver Creator Award from YouTube, signifying that PizzaFlix had passed 100,000 subscribers. And along with it, they got a form letter from YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki praising the channel as a quote-unquote valued creator. But it was a form letter. PizzaFlix, however, was then assigned a partner manager from YouTube. And PizzaFlix started holding bi-monthly video conferences with this YouTube employee discussing ways that PizzaFlix could continue to build its audience. Now, PizzaFlix was never advised to make changes to its channel. PizzaFlix was in then invited also to creator seminars and regional workshops where they met other creators and they learned YouTube best practices. 
So clearly, until October 1st, Pizza Flix was commercially viable. But on October 1st, Pizza Flix's partner program was terminated and YouTube stopped uh, communicating with them entirely. So while they have the opportunity to make changes to the channel and then reapply for the partner program, Pizza Flix has received no guidance from YouTube as to why their partnership was terminated, nor what steps that they might take in order to become compliant. I'm sorry. Welcome to my world. So I believe, however, that this termination of the partner program was intentional. And the reason? Pizza Flix's content is movies and TV shows, and that would compete with YouTube's intent to create a paid service. YouTube wants users to pay for content, but how will YouTube induce you to pay if there are hundreds of hours of free films and TV shows? Even if they're older, you still might watch them. I do. I have an interest in basically old 1950s science fiction movies. But until October 1st, Pizza Flix was commercially viable. Now it is not. Pizza Flix can no longer meet its operating expenses. All revenue from YouTube was halted. There was no longer any reason for them to upload any new content. They would all be better off with a day job. And all of this, combined with YouTube's new terms of service, make Pizza Flix an excellent candidate for removal. YouTube has done this on purpose, and they will continue to do this with other channels. They will take channels offering free films or TV and demonetize them. Where the channel was once commercially viable, suddenly it no longer is. And then the channel will be deleted, thus clearing the way for the exact same content to be available on YouTube by paying YouTube for it. Pizza Flix is the canary in the coal mine. I think we'll see a lot more of this as time goes on. Once commercially viable channels will be made unviable simply by terminating the partnership and demonetizing them. And this is the ultimate reason and the ultimate plan behind YouTube's new terms of service and why Tales from SYL Ranch not being profitable, it means my days are numbered on YouTube. However, I would urge you to go to BitChute, that is www.bitchute.com. Create an account there and subscribe to Tales from SYL Ranch, which is bitchute.com slash SYL Ranch. Explore the site and find your favorite YouTube creators who have or are in the process of moving to BitChute because we are doing that in droves. If you're a small creator, you will probably see your views and sub counts go up very rapidly. It certainly happened to me. And as with me, it will outpace YouTube in very, very short order. You'll also find that your videos will start to rival large bit YouTube creators who are mirroring their content on BitChute. And that has happened to me with a number of my videos. If you're a viewer, you're going to see a service with wildly differing content than YouTube's already rather bland offering. If you're on the political right or libertarian like myself, I guarantee that you're going to find many people whose content you way prefer over what YouTube offers. And I suspect that the same is true of people on the left or people who have interests outside of uh, work, politics. And point of fact, there's lots of old movies on there, well, lots of old science fiction movies that I like to watch. I would also suggest that you support BitChute financially. They are an extremely worthy endeavor and very, very worthy. Um, as YouTube takes the U out of YouTube, go to BitChute. It is a true free speech alternative. In their own words, we are a small team making a stand against internet censorship because we believe it is the right thing to do. YouTube sucks. BitChute for the win. And that is all that I have to say about that. I would love to keep the conversation going, so please leave your comments, questions, and nasty remarks, and I'll do my best to respond to you. So that's all the time that we have today for this episode of the highly acclaimed, world-renowned Tales from SYL Ranch, the BitChute channel where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing the control and manipulation of minds.